Okay, so some of you are probably like, Jake, you are such a traitor right now. How could you do this to us? I made the switch from Cinema 4D to Blender. You'll find out why. So I made this title animation in Blender. And two years ago, I had my 3D freeze frame, which was kind of based on like Deadpool and X-Men and all that kind of stuff. As you notice with some of the titles, I was doing the vlogs, camera reviews, and tutorials. I still do tutorials, but those two other things I don't do anymore. It needs a little bit of an upgrade. What my channel name is, and that's pretty much it. It's really cool seeing how high quality the CG software is. One of the cool things about Blender, and I think pretty much everyone knows what's so cool is it's a free forever open source software. It literally says that it's free forever on their website. You can still have the same quality animation that you have from that in Blender than you can in Cinema 4D. And this isn't me saying one software is better than the other. I'm not saying that at all. I think they're all great and the resources they provide are absolutely amazing. For me, it made more sense to switch over to Blender. I'm like, if I can use this for free um, versus something that's like such a high price tag for a year membership, it just makes more sense to use this. But the downside of it was the fact that I had to relearn how to use the software because I, at first I was scared of using Blender because I was like hearing things that it's really difficult to learn. In general, if it's your first time using any sort of 3D interface, it's always gonna be a bit of a learning curve, so it doesn't matter what you use. It just takes time and effort to learn how to understand it. So really, it's just all about building up your experience and then you'll be able to get things down pretty easily. One of the things I think when people get into doing shading and all that is they see a node setup and nodes actually help you have more defined looking textures. So for example, you get like kind of rust textures and scratch textures on your 3D model. So definitely my advice is don't let nodes intimidate you. It was a smooth transition over. I mean, I just had to relearn where some of the tools are in Blender and then I did a character model and I learned the donut tutorial from Blender Guru and I definitely recommend no matter what level of experience you're on, if you're just learning Blender, definitely learn that donut tutorial because it will give you a better idea of how to handle your workflow in a more controlling fashion. So one of the cool things that I picked up from the tutorial is of course how to make the photorealistic donut but also how to uh, have better control of the camera in Blender because it's a whole different thing versus Cinema 4D. So yeah, I'd say that, you know, keep an open mind with the donut tutorials. Um, in the future, you won't be sorry about it. And then of course, see if you can make a donut on your own without watching the tutorial because the last thing you wanna do is just be over-reliant on tutorials to help you and have the guy hold your hand all the way through. You can make a feature length film on this thing if you really want to. There's been a, a movie called Next Gen, which uh, has John Krasinski voicing one of the characters. And there's a few open source movies, Agent 327 and Spring. You can go within the software, like using the character assets or the environment assets and kind of toy around with those a little bit. And it's really cool that they provide these resources so openly for you to learn from and to see how much really goes into just making one single character because it's not something that everyone thinks about, but there's a lot that goes into modeling, animating, and lighting, and all that kind of stuff. So you definitely get a learning experience playing around with the characters and the environments too. I just wanted to kind of tell you guys where I'm at with this channel right now. I'm looking to do more Blender tutorials and then maybe some After Effects tutorials as well. So be on the lookout for those. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel also feel free to leave a comment below and hit the bell button and i will see you guys next time just wanted to acknowledge both cameras because i feel like this camera doesn't get as much attention see you next time